Okay, today I've got an exciting experiment. Well, I think it's exciting anyway. It's an experiment to do with negativity, negative thoughts, consciousness, and how it affects the world around us. Now, you may have heard of this experiment before. If you haven't, just bear with me. This is based on the research of a doctor called Dr. Emoto, and he studied water. He studied the relationship between water and consciousness and our thoughts and how it affects water. And he found that positive thinking and positive vibes towards water in whatever form created good results. So once he examined that container, it would produce crystals that were beautiful and you know pure water, all that kind of thing. However, if he focused negatively and put negative vibes into his water specimen, it would create the opposite. It would create crystals that are a bit manky and deformed and like, oh no, no like that. So one of the experiments to show that is actually with cooked rice and what you do is you cook a batch of rice, you split it into different jars and each jar would be labelled love, hate and whatever and you would focus on your jar, you take your jar every day and you'd focus on love if it was a love jar, you know, oh I love you jar, you're so amazing. If it was the hate jar, you go, I hate you jar, like that and so on and you do that for I don't know, a month, six weeks. We'll see how it goes. So, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I have actually bought a whole new set of fresh jars because I didn't want there to be any kind of discrepancy of, oh, you used a manky jar or, oh, they're not the same. So I've bought jars all the same from the same supplier. I'm gonna clean them. I'm gonna use the same rice. Everything's gonna be the same. Okay, so there's gonna be no variation at all. And you know me, I keep on banging on about positive thinking and stuff, so if I can prove it in some way, I'll be well chuffed with that. So let's see what happens. And if it doesn't go as planned, I don't know if it goes really. There are my four jars, exactly the same, same supplier, all sealed. So I'm going to wash them out and cook my rice. For this experiment, you only actually need three or even just two, but old them in a pack of four so that's why I got four so I think I'm going to use them all and try different things with each one. So now I'm going to cook my rice and I asked Ian to pick me up some rice when he went out and he bought me three kilos of rice. Okay I only needed one because I want it to be all from the same packet okay I'm not going to do different packets they're all going to be from the same packet so there's no variation. I haven't actually cooked rice for ages I've been using these, the microwave ones, for like two minutes, whack it in, job done. So yeah, I've got a lot of rice to eat. Not the stuff going into the jars, I'm not gonna be eating that if it goes manky. Yeah, a lot of rice to cook. Are you the same? Do you cook rice anymore? Or are you naughty like me and do microwave stuff? I'm gonna cook the whole packet and distribute it between my containers equally, equal measures. I think that's the way forward. Right, so while I've got my rice cooking, let's take a look at my board of life. It looks exactly the same as the last time I showed you. Why? Because I've neglected it. I've been a bad, bored mother person. I haven't looked after you, have I? So, what I'm going to do is refresh, get it in another room. The reason I'm doing that is because I now have my own space upstairs, my office. So, this is going to go upstairs. I've liked having it here so that I can have constant reminders and I'm like kind of out there to the world. But now that I've got my own space, I can actually sit in there and be calm and, you know, concentrate and get it out there. So yes, that's the plan. So I'm gonna take it upstairs now, or in a minute after I've done the jars. Yeah, and I've been looking at this, every time I look at it now, I'm like, I feel negative about it because I'm like, I've neglected that. It's not how I want it to be. So I'm sending that out there instead, so it's not good. This is not doing us any favours whatsoever, is it? Board, board of life. So yes, it's coming down. Well, the board isn't, because I've got Ian to screw it on. I was like, yes, that's staying there forever. That's screwed on. So this board is actually going to be my organisation board for the kitchen, you know, general organisation. And then my board of life stuff is going to go upstairs into my office. In fact, while it's cooking, let's go and have a look. Here we go, this is my new space. Ta-da! This wall here is gonna be my new board of life space. So after I've done my rice, 
we'll start on that. And also, I'm gonna sort my table out today as well. My crystal grid table, I'm going for it today. Rice, border line, crystal table, crystal grid. Yes, really going for it. And I'm gonna show you also. So this is the book I'm gonna be using for my inspiration for my crystal grid. That's gonna go on my little table. So we'll set that up in a bit as well. Guys, while I was upstairs faffing, I might have burnt my rice. Yeah, see there's a burnt bit there. It's all stuck on the bottom. I was putting negative thoughts into that pan, okay? When I put the rice in, I, I, on some level I thought, this is gonna burn, that's what happened. See, it's working already. Start again, new pan. Right, I'm just gonna chuck that out. Starting again. This is gone. This is not part of my experiment. Gone. See, this is why Ian bought three bags of rice. He knows me well. I told you I had to cook my fridge. But I promise you, I'm not going to put manky rice into my jars. It's got to be right. If I have to go out for another kilo of rice, I'm doing it. One bag down, two to go. Rice is on, back in the game. Easy this. Uncle Ben's. Right, so I'm not going to leave the kitchen. I'm going to sit here and draw my lids of what's going to go on the top of my love hate and all of that. So I'm just going to draw circles on paper that I can cut out and stick on the top of my jars with my words on. Ta-da! I'm gonna do four of these and then they're gonna stick on the top of the jar like that with my words on. So I raided the kids craft drawer and luckily I bought some glue the other day. Yes. So I'm going to stick my cardboard pieces onto the top, but I'm going to write my words. So I'm going to have a love jar, a hate jar, and an ignore jar, which is generally what you do in this experiment. So one to love, one to hate, one to ignore. And then I've got a spare jar and a lot of spare rice. So I was thinking, what else could I do that would be interesting? I'm going to write rainbow on the next one because... Love, Hate and Ignore kind of covers pretty much everything. But I thought if I put rainbow on it, maybe some colours will come out. I don't know. Let's just try it. So I've got a black pen. I'm going to do Love, Hate and Ignore in the black pen. And then do my rainbow one in rainbow colours. Love, love, love. I just one big L. Is that going to really annoy me? Why would I do that? Hate. Hate you. Hate this, hate rice, hate this experiment, hate, and then ignore. Don't even know what this is. You don't even exist, and just there's nothing here. Ignore. Rainbow. Got my rice, I've got my jars. Love, hate, ignore, rainbow. So I'm gonna fill them up with my rice. I'm gonna use this glass as my measuring glass. Ian's Batman color changing glass that doesn't color change. You know, one of the quality ones off of eBay, that one. So I'm gonna fill it up level and put one of them into each one so it's fair. So there we have it. Now I didn't wait for the rice to cool down because I figured that it would lose water if I let it cool off. So this is based on water, this experiment. So I've left it to cool off in the jar itself. So there they are. Love, hate, ignore, rainbow. Welcome to my garage. And yes, I have a naked man in here called Sid. Just, we'll just ignore that. So here are my jars. I lobbed off all the stuff off the shelf, chucked it on the floor. All of Ian's cosplay stuff. I don't get rid of that. I need my jars in the place. So, at the top there, I have my love jar. Middle, rainbow. Bottom, hate. Over there, pff, ignore that. Ignore the ignore jars there. I thought the garage would be a good place because they'd be left alone. There'd be no variables. 
it's quite cool in here you know it's not like erratic temperature changes so that's gonna stay there so yeah every day I'm gonna take my jars out and you know hug them and love them or not I might hate them so yeah I'm gonna sit down and do it later but actually no I need to set it off don't I I need to set it off let's do a little bit now okay I need to set the intentions of the jars so let's start with love oh, I love you I love you I love you if Ian walks in right now I'd be like oh my god pretend I'm talking to Sid I love you I'm imagining hearts and angels are kissing this and I can imagine beams of light coming out of this imagine eating this rice it's delicious love 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 feelings of love okay that's what you do with that one rainbow okay i can just see a big rain this is like the pot at the end of the rainbow all the amazing magical colors in this pot wow all those colors it's like a rainbow it's amazing how nature can provide all these colors see do that and then this jar hate this disgusting i hate you fucking vile you are I fucking hate you i hate you imagine being sick in that oh i see all the mold it's gross hate hate death gross hate you that kind of thing i think i find that one pretty easy whenever i'm angry or coming in i'll shout in my jar that one i don't even know what that is over there i'm ignoring that bothered Okay, so that's that done. I'm going to do it again later to give it extra power. You're supposed to do a minute a day per jar. I might do it longer depending on my mood. If I'm angry, I might just leave my happy jar until I'm happy again. You know, I don't want to cross thing yet. There they are, my jars. That's why they've got to be far apart because if they're next to each other, they'll contaminate each other, obviously. Get with it. You want some rice for lunch? I'm sick of the sight of stuff now. All right, upstairs to do the board and my crystals. I'm in my office now and I brought up the bits from my board downstairs. I brought them up here. I've saved my favorite bits of that board. I'm gonna to add to this, refresh it. I need to think of more words and get more clippings and things like that. If you want to see my vision board video where I made my first vision board, you can find that link down below and it will explain all of these pictures and why I picked what I picked. I've added this, I am organised, I am organised, I am organised, I am organised, I am organised. So I'm in the process of collecting more things to make this the wall of life, okay? It's not a board of life, this is a wall of life. So they're my favourite bits from that. I've also got my little house thing here which I bought a good few months ago now and it's been sat waiting for me to make my space my special space so this is my special space on here is going to be my knickknacks and crystals things related to my goal oh look there's a little goal there 100,000 subscribers yes that's a goal that's the important thing with vision boards and things like this you've got to keep it fresh keep it interesting keep your focus because once you lose it it's pointless and I have lost it so I'm just gaining it back again so this is another addition is my little crystal table here. Ta-da! So I've got a little table here, a bigger table for this house. That's just temporary. That's going to go on the wall. The house is going up there. And then I'm going to use this table for other knickknacks. This is a knickknack corner, okay? Get my knickknacks on. So on this table, I'm going to have my crystal grid. I've bought this book, The Crystal Grid Work by Kira Fogg. I bought it in the works. I think it's four pounds really like it it's really good a really good starting point so if you're interested in this head to the works in the uk to find this otherwise i'm sure you could google it and find it he's just given a basic run through of crystal grids and what they're about and how they work and how to start it has all different layouts for different crystals and i'm going to use the flower of life grid here it's basically a layout format. The Flower of Life is a shape that's kind of seen throughout the universe. It's kind of like something that links everything together. So that's why I really like this one. 
So for the crystals I'm using, I've got a big bit of amethyst in the middle. You can't really see it, but I have clear quartz crystal points here, and they're pointing out towards citrine points and tumbled stone. So that's a tumbled stone, and this is a rough stone. So sorry, not points, but a rough piece and a smooth piece. Piece in the middle, six pieces of clear quartz, six pieces of citrine. So the amethyst is the focus stone in the middle. It gathers the creative power of the universe to your grid, so it's like sucking it in. And then the second set of stones are the way stones, so that pushes it out towards the last stone, which is the desire stones. Focus stone, way stone, desire. So this channels the energy, this points it out towards the desire stone. So this one is like the one that you really want. And I've placed this here next to my wall. So when my wall is finished, it's going to supercharge it and yeah, get it out there. So that's my little grid. This is just my starting point. I'll probably mix it up and change it. I might even print off the flower of life grid from this book, photocopy it, have the grid down and fill out the crystals. So if you're interested in this and you're a bit confused and you don't really know what to do and you're a bit like, okay, this book is really handy. I've got my little knickknack corner here, my little goals got my crystal table and then up there I'm gonna have all of my pictures and words so this is like the area of focus so that's my setup I have been rethinking my goal current goal 100,000 YouTube subscribers that's what I'm trying to manifest okay if you want to know why watch the other video I link that down below that details everything but yes I'm rethinking it because I don't know if I'm focusing in the right direction. I do want this goal, however, I think I need to focus more on the reason behind it rather than the thing. For example, if you want a big house and you've got this vision in your head of this house, it's the dream house, you want the house. What's the reason that you want a house? You don't just want it for nothing. You want, there's a reason why. Is it because you want more space or you want to be nearer to your family? What's the reason behind it? And once you realise what the reason is, I think you should focus on the reason. So you should try and manifest more space or manifest being near your family. And then from that, the house will come. So I'm, I'm thinking, am I going to switch up a bit the way I think about it? The reason I want 100,000 YouTube subscribers is because it's cool and I'm just like, yeah, I've got all these subscribers. But the real reason behind it is I want to create good content, I want to be entertaining, I want to inspire people. That's the reason behind it. The number is kind of irrelevant, really, if I think about it. So I'm thinking, do I focus on the reason that I want it rather than just the thing? So instead of just thinking about, I want the house, I want the house, I want the house, you should think, I want the bigger space. I want to be near my family. That's the real reason why I want the bigger house. Focus and put it out there that I'm entertaining, that I inspire people, you know? And then from that, this goal should come. So I'm just rethinking it, I'm testing it out a little bit and I'll let you know how that goes. Should I just focus on the number and go this much, this much, this much? Or should I focus a bit deeper and focus on the reason why to get that? Hope you're making sense. If I'm not, I will go back on that another time. But yeah, I'm trying to rethink the way I'm doing it at the moment. And actually do it. I've had a few months of just kind of flitting about, not paying attention to it. Hence why my numbers have stopped, really. If you've noticed, I don't know if you're watching, but I had a massive growth. I like doubled my numbers in a really short period of time. And that's when I was focusing on this. When I stopped, I went on holiday and just stopped. I was like, I'm having a break. It stopped. Well, it slowed right down. Is it a thing or am I just not making good videos? <laughs> I think it's a thing. Right, so that's it for today. I'm going to go and colour in my mandala, stick up my poster, bling up my area and go and tell my child, oh, okay, my hate one that is, the loved one, I'll give it a cuddle and a kiss. I'll be back with my rice update in another vlog exciting. I'm going to give it a good while. I'll probably update you in another vlog, but I'm going to give it at least six weeks to, you know, let the mould really grow in the hate jar. Okay, we'll see how it goes. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.